too. I'm a transcanal surgeon for autology mm -hmm. uh, procedures. And I was wondering if this system could uh, work with this uh, uh, type of uh, surgical approach, which is called a minimally invasive approach. Because I was thinking of the, these two cameras would not fit in such a narrow environment, such a narrow canal. And I was very impressed by that because I did six uh, procedures during uh, this week, including four stages operation and uh, it went well. Even one of them was with a 5.5 millimeter diameter uh, speculum and uh, I didn't have any problem. It was absolutely clear, the, the picture was perfect. So uh, that was really something very good for me and very nice. Is that we need to understand that all fine movements that you need to move the instrument and uh, to move the camera uh, will be uh, performed not by your hands but by a uh, little movement of the head. So I think it's, it's a very, uh, very nice uh, way of uh, working because you, you, you have all, both hands free all the time. When, when you use a microscope at some point you have to take the microscope and move the microscope strongly sometimes. Uh, whereas this, with this technique you don't need that because you just move the head and everything is moving nicely and uh, you're free all the time, which I think is a major point. That you don't need to adapt your procedure, the way of working, uh, to this technique or this technology, but you need to adapt the technology to your procedure. What I mean is that, for me, it didn't change anything at all in terms of uh, surgical procedure, a uh, way of moving my instruments, way of introducing the prosthesis, so that was a very important point. I would have been disappointed if I had to change my technique, to adapt my technique to this new technology, which was not absolutely the case. I was thinking about what, uh, in, in, in which way this uh, robotoscope would change my procedure and uh, my surgical procedure, my surgical technique. And I think the main point is regarding the exposure, which for me is very important, specifically for transcanal. Because there are many uh, hidden areas in which, for which it's sometimes difficult to, to, to have a clear exposure with the microscope because then you need to move the microscope and, and then you have to stay like this for some time, which is not very ergonomic. With this technique, with this uh, robotoscope, then you move the camera and the camera moves while you stay uh, straight. And then when the camera moves, you stay straight. So it's very ergonomic and uh, very easy to do and to check all hidden area. That's a big difference uh, with the microscope. So I think it's a very big advantage. What I mean is that the surgeon, the surgeon stay in a very relaxed and comfortable position. It doesn't have to change. And mm -hmm. it's, I think it's improving the quality of surgery. So then it's also improving the safety of the surgery, I think.